Welcome, we're here in San Diego, California at SeaWorld. Now there's so much to do here, everything from rides to animal exhibits, shows, restaurants, gift shops, seasonal attractions, you name it. Today we'll try to see as much as possible. Along the way, I'll share tips and tricks and useful information about the park. Let's head inside. Upon entering the park, there is a security check with metal detectors. This is to make sure guests aren't bringing in inappropriate items which can harm people or animals. SeaWorld doesn't allow outside food, but you can bring water or other items for those with special dietary needs. Entering the park, the first thing you'll see are tide pool exhibits where you'll have the chance to touch fish, sharks, and other sea animals. There will also be stores and snack shops, hand washing stations, restrooms, and we happen to be here during the holiday season, so as an extra bonus, you'll be able to see some of their holiday exhibits. Some of the most popular exhibits are the animal shows, and those happen throughout the day. You can find the schedule online. I would recommend planning your day around some of these shows. So it's a Wednesday at about 11.30. We're here by the Orca Encounter. Let's take a closer look. Killer whales, also known as orcas, belong to the dolphin family and can be found in all of the world's oceans. Having no natural predators, they sit at the top of the food chain as the apex predators of the sea. They work in pods to hunt everything from fish to seals, great white sharks and even other whales. Killer whales are sophisticated predators. Operating like a wolf pack, orcas use a variety of tactics to confuse and disorient their prey. To catch fish, they circle and corral large schools of fish. To hunt sharks, they flip the sharks upside down, causing them to freeze in place. Seals are not safe on shore, either. Orcas use their tails to create waves, knocking unsuspecting seals off of ice or rocks. Orcas will even swim on shore, beaching themselves momentarily to catch the seals. Orcas evolved from a wolf-like land animal that lived 50 million years ago. Called the Pachycetus, this animal began to spend more time near the water, and after millions of years of evolution, animals such as the orcas branched off to live and hunt exclusively in the oceans. Male orcas can measure around 25 feet in length, weighing up to 20,000 pounds. Pods communicate using a variety of sounds, whistles, and calls. Orcas use a high-frequency clicking sound to understand their surroundings. This method, called echolocation, allows them to locate objects much further away than they can see. Their method of echolocation is so effective that they're able to identify objects and varieties of life underwater. Orcas are highly intelligent and social animals, and they pass on hunting skills and knowledge from one generation to the next. Orcas are an endangered species, and it's important that we work to help preserve their habitats. Not far away is Dolphin Point. Here, SeaWorld offers opportunities for visitors to interact, feed, and learn to communicate with dolphins. Bottlenose dolphins are one of 40 dolphin species that vary in size, appearance, and location. They're related to orcas and share a number of similar characteristics and behaviors. Next to the dolphin encounter is the sea otter exhibit. Sea otters live in the North Pacific Ocean and they're the heaviest of the weasel family. They have a thick coat of fur that keeps them warm as they forage on the sea floor. They eat urchins, mollusks, crustaceans, and fish, and they're one of the few animals that uses tools, in this case rocks, to access their food. Between exhibits and shows, you'll notice attractions and characters around the park. The SeaWorld Sky Tower is a 320-foot tall gyro tower. Built in 1968, this six-minute long ride provides views of the park and San Diego. We also have games here that you can play, win prizes. And over here at Big Bird's Bistro, you can get funnel cake, face painting, caricature drawing, and there's our destination. We're here to see the dolphin show. Dolphins are intelligent, sociable animals. 
While hunting, they coordinate with other members of their pod using advanced communication skills and tactics. As they care for other pod members, they demonstrate altruistic traits as well as highly cooperative qualities. Pilot whales are the second largest of the dolphin family, right behind the orcas. They eat mostly squid and fish. Male pilot whales can weigh up to 7,000 pounds at a length of up to 22 feet. With a few breaths of air, they are capable of diving to depths of 600 meters for up to 10 minutes at a time. Pilot whales live in family pods of 10 to 30 whales. They spend their lives with their family, but are known to intermingle with members from other pods to mate. The majority of dolphin species, including whales, are highly intelligent and social. These marine mammals have been observed cooperating, teaching, and learning from one another. It's important that we all take steps to help safeguard these wonderful animals and their habitats. The pinniped family of animals consists of seals, sea lions, and walruses. Pinnipeds are semi-aquatic marine mammals that have flippers. They live all around the world and are known to be incredible divers. Sea lions dive up to 250 feet to find their food. Harbor seals can dive further at 1,600 feet, and elephant seals, the champion divers, can swim 5,000 feet deep, staying underwater for up to two hours at a time. Pinnipeds primarily eat fish and squid, and their bodies are designed for diving. Their bullet-shaped bodies enable them to descend through the water quickly. They have the ability to control their heart rate, dropping from an average of 70 beats per minute on land to just 5 beats per minute on deep dives. They also have more blood than other animals, allowing them to store large amounts of oxygen. This allows them to conserve their energy during extended deep dives. But it's commonly thought that pinnipeds evolved from either bears or a raccoon-like small carnivore called mustelidae. Much like orcas, these carnivorous animals evolved over millions of years into the aquatic mammals that we know today. Some seals have demonstrated an understanding of symmetry and organization, and training can be done by using an artificial sign language to teach them specific tasks. There are 36 pinniped species. Some are considered endangered, and others are abundant. There are laws to prevent the harm of seals, yet they're still affected by discarded commercial fishing equipment, pollution, and other forms of habitat destruction. For those who are interested in helping ocean life, we recommend either joining a local cleanup or donating to an ocean pollution fighting charity like Team Seas. Here we are at the shark encounter. The shark encounter features sharks and fish that can be viewed from above and below the water. This exhibit features a 280,000 gallon pool bordered by rocks, tropical plants, and coral. The shark encounter is home to a variety of sharks including sand tigers, bonnet heads, black tip, and white tip reef sharks. The exhibit leads down through a cave to reveal a 57-foot transparent tube running the length of the shark's habitat. Inside the tunnel, you can watch sharks drifting through the water all around you. Exiting the exhibit, you'll have the opportunity to see the jaws of the long-extinct Megalodon, a 60-foot-long prehistoric shark that weighed up to 30 tons. Not far away is the Flamingo exhibit. They're among the oldest living birds with a lifespan of up to 40 years. The Manta is a launched roller coaster that travels at speeds of 43 miles per hour. There's a 54 foot drop and the ride skims just above the water. There's also an aquarium where you can touch and feed bat rays, white sturgeons, and shovel nose guitarfish. These bat rays live primarily along the Eastern Pacific Ocean. They eat fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. Bat rays have a stinger at the edge of their tail. Although they're not considered dangerous, bat rays can use their stingers when attacked or frightened. If you're swimming at a beach that has bat rays or stingrays, make sure to shuffle your feet as you walk through the shallow water. There are several dining options at SeaWorld. Here are a few suggestions. 
Shipwreck Reef is a shipwreck-themed restaurant where you can find burgers, wraps, salmon, and salads. Aloha Barbecue offers poke bowls, sausage, and pulled pork sandwiches, tuna, and seaweed salads. Mama Stella's has a variety of pizza, fish and chips, mac and cheese, and desserts. And Calypso Bay Smokehouse features barbecue ribs, chicken, and brisket sliders. The Explorer's Cafe is where you can find tacos, turkey, and bratwurst. The SeaWorld Bay of Play is a Sesame Street themed area that has rides and attractions. Here you can meet your favorite Sesame Street characters, sit for story time, or watch a show. Rides include Abby's Sea Star Teacups, there's also Oscar's Rocking Eel and Elmo's Flying Fish. Each ride requires riders to be 42 inches tall to ride alone, otherwise you'll need a parent to ride with you. Other than rides, there's a splash pad play area, toddler mat, and an air bounce area. Just next door is an arcade and carnival style games area where you can play and win prizes. The Penguin Encounter features Emperor and King Penguins as well as Magellanic and other varieties of penguins. A total of 17 penguin species live in the cold coastal climates of the Southern Hemisphere. Penguins evolved from a common ancestor bird called Weamanu. Weamanu lived 60 million years ago and were flightless diving birds. The penguin's black and white coloring provides a distinct advantage. Predators and prey have a hard time spotting them in the water. Penguins are known to be monogamous species and sometimes the males incubate eggs while the females hunt. Puffins live in colonies on coastal cliffs and offshore islands. They feed on fish and plankton primarily by diving in the water. Their short wings allow them to swim underwater and fly low over the ocean's surface. Just across the way is the Wild Arctic Exhibit. It's themed to resemble an Arctic research station. The settings and props transport you to an Arctic base and give you a sense of what it's like to live there. The exhibit features beluga whales, sea otters, and walruses. The exhibit once featured a flight simulator motion ride. A roller coaster was planned for the attraction, but was canceled due to park closures in 2020. For now, it remains home to beautiful, enigmatic sea animals. Beluga whales live in the Arctic Ocean. They're related to narwhals and are distinguished by their white color and lack of dorsal fin. Their bulbous head is also known as a melon. The melon plays an important role in communication and echolocation. Walruses are part of the pinniped family and they're known for their prominent tusks and whiskers. They spend most of their life on ice and dive into the cold waters primarily to find mollusks. Their tusks can grow up to three feet in length, and they use these tusks for fighting, digging holes in the ice, and getting out of the water. Walruses can weigh up to 4,400 pounds, and they have a blubber layer that can be six inches thick. They live mainly on the shores of the Arctic, and during the summer they may travel as far south as the Bering Strait. There's evidence that they lived much further south during the last ice age. The electric eel opened in May of 2018. The coaster launches riders at 62 miles per hour, 150 feet into the air, along its 863 foot long track. The line can take anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes, and riders must be 54 inches tall. The Journey to Atlantis ride lifts riders 83 feet into the air, where they plunge towards the water below. After the descent, the boats are lifted via an elevator that places them onto a track. The coaster then descends through multiple turns, splashing through the water once again. You'll definitely get wet on this ride, and you can buy a waterproof poncho for the ride, and there's also a drying station you can use just outside. The Nautilus Amphitheater 
hosts, concerts, special events, and shows. Here are a few clips from a recent holiday circus-themed show. Right next door is the Tentacle Twirl, which is a carnival-style ride where riders swing around, tilting back and forth. These rides are designed for the smallest park goers and their families. The Bayside Sky Ride is a gondola-style ride that travels above Mission Bay. The six-minute ride provides excellent views of Mission Bay and SeaWorld. The ride travels across two 80-foot towers with views of the marina and park below. The ride once stopped at the Atlantis restaurant, but after the restaurant closed, the ride remained and riders now take a full loop passing through the second station rather than stopping. If you learned something new, hit the like button. This is the best way to support the channel. Subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. Now that we've seen SeaWorld, Click here for a tour of the San Diego Zoo. See you in the next one.